Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. I am finally standing in my new kitchen and I'm very excited about that. I haven't done a kitchen tour yet because there are still a couple of things that need to be done. But once those things are done, there's going to be a full kitchen tour for sure. But that's it for now about the new kitchen because we're going to make a delicious dessert today with some rhubarb, strawberry and yogurt. We're going to make a champagne and rhubarb foam with a yogurt and tarragon ice cream, a strawberry crisp and a donut that's filled with a rhubarb compote. So if you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. First, a strawberry broth. For that, mix 500 grams of frozen strawberries with 50 grams of sugar in a bowl. Now cover it very tight with plastic wrap and heat it up on a double boiler for around 4 hours on a low heat. Once that's done, remove the plastic and pour the broth on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper. Let this drain overnight in your fridge. Once that's done, transfer the strawberries on the silicon sheet and dry them at 60 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, let's start on the rhubarb and champagne foam. For that, remove the ends from 600 grams of rhubarb and then chop it. Then transfer it into a pan and also add 60 grams of sugar. Now let it cook at the lowest heat till you have a nice and thick compote. This can easily take an hour, but as long as it sits on a low heat, it's not likely to burn. Now weigh 200 grams of the compote in a measuring cup and also add 100 grams of strawberry broth, 100 grams of champagne, 60 grams of white casted sugar and 35 grams of cold espuma powder. Blend this with a hand blender or a normal blender till smooth. Then pour it into a siphon and charge it with two charges. If it's too thin, just add another charge. Now keep it in your fridge for later. Then the yogurt and tarragon ice cream. First, pour one kilogram of yogurt into a bowl together with 300 grams of white casted sugar and blend this till smooth. Then chop 20 grams of tarragon and add it to the yogurt mixture. Let this marinate for at least 10 hours in your fridge. Now for the donuts. Pour 65 grams of water into a measuring cup and also add 65 grams of milk and 7 grams of yeast. Mix this well for around 30 seconds. Then mix 350 grams of flour with 2 grams of salt and 30 grams of sugar in a bowl. After that, add the yeast mixture with one egg and 50 grams of butter. Now mix this and then knead it into a nice bowl of dough. It's done once your hands and the bowl is clean. Then cover it with a kitchen cloth and let it rest in your fridge for around 3 hours. While that's resting, clean around 400 grams of strawberries and cut them into small cubes. Now add it to the remaining rhubarb compote and mix it. Then transfer it into a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. I'm using reusable piping bags to reduce plastic waste. Then the strawberry crisp. Mix 10 grams of glucose with 170 grams of strawberry broth, 15 grams of potato starch and 50 grams of isomalt sugar. Now while stirring, bring it to a boil. Then pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. After that, spread it on a silicon sheet using a round stencil. Both the stencil and the press I use are from Mole Products. Find a link to it in my description. Then let it dry at 110 degrees Celsius for 70 minutes. Now gently remove the crisp from the silicon sheet and then press it between the disc press. Then let it cool down and keep it dry and covered for later. 
Now for the tarragon oil. First clean enough tarragon for 30 grams of leaves. Transfer them into a blender and also add 200 grams of neutral oil. Then blend this till it's at 65 degrees Celsius. The oil will heat up from the friction. Once it's done, pour the oil on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper and let it drain in your fridge. Now it's time to finish the ice cream. First pour your yogurt mixture through a sieve into the ice cream machine and spin it into a beautiful ice cream. Then cover it and let it set in your freezer for at least 30 minutes. By now the strawberries are also completely dry, so we can transfer them into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. And keep it dry and covered for later. Now back to the donuts. Dust your worktop with your flour and roll out the dough till it's around 1 cm thick. Then cut it with a round cutter into the desired size. After that, fry it at 180 degrees Celsius till nice and golden on both sides. While you're deep frying your donuts, mix 50 grams of sugar with 5 grams of strawberry powder. Once all the donuts are fried, cover them with a thin layer of the strawberry sugar. Then take your rhubarb and strawberry compote and fill your donuts as full as possible. These are amazing! Now we can start to finish the dish. First pipe some of the compote on the middle of a plate. Then cover it with the rhubarb and champagne foam and pour the strawberry broth around it. Now dust some strawberry powder on the foam and place a nice canal of the yogurt ice cream on top. Drizzle some of the tarragon oil on there and top it off with the strawberry crisp. And now I serve it with a freshly baked donut. Okay guys, that's it for today. I must say I can't wait to share this video with you because so far I already had a little look at the footage and I'm very pleased with the result. Um, I'm also very pleased with this result because um, well, it, was, it is already a little bit melted because I had to take the photos and everything, but it still looks pretty tasty. So, quickly gonna dig in oh, that crunch of the crispy. That's, yeah, that's amazing. Let's dig in. Mm. That ice cream. Yeah, that's incredible. Crispy, I must say, I'm very surprised because I finished the dish 20 minutes ago, and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's still super crunchy. Mm. That's incredible. And um, yeah, okay, I already had like 10 of these, but let's have another bite. Mm. Amazing. Okay guys, mm, yeah, I'm gonna finish later, but for now, again, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and share the video, uh, subscribe if you want to support my channel, and as always, bon appétit. It's so messy, dude.